With two major projects on the horizon, Bethesda Game Studios has expanded and opened a new office in Austin, Texas. What does this mean for Bethesda fans? Hey guys, JV here, and today we're discussing BGS's new studio. Before we get into that, just a heads up, you can find daily streams of the newest games, as well as commentaries just like this on my Facebook page. So check the link in the description below and stay tuned for tons of awesome content. On Friday, Bethesda Softworks announced that it has absorbed Battlecry Studios into their Bethesda Game Studios family. If you all remember, BGS expanded to Montreal in late 2015 after the release of Fallout 4, so these two additional offices have come in fairly quick succession. Our Lord and Savior, Todd Howard, explained, As the vision, scale, and ambitions for our games continue to grow, so does Bethesda Game Studios. We've had the pleasure to know the talented developers at Battlecry and knew we could do great things together. According to the post on Bethesda.net, the Austin studio is staffed with industry veterans who have experience developing AAA games. BGS's Austin studio will be led by Doug Mellencamp, who has quite a pedigree. He was the server lead on Star Wars Galaxies at Sony Online Entertainment, then he moved to Bioware's Austin studio where he became senior technical director on Star Wars The Old Republic, which is their MMO. Later, he moved over to Disney Interactive in a similar position, then started at Battlecry Studios in 2013. There, he has been technical director and studio director. Doug also had a quote to share on the post, We're excited to join Bethesda Game Studios and look forward to working together on some of the industry's most exciting new games. Austin's incredible game development scene and talent will also allow us to push our games further than fans have imagined. If you're not familiar, here's a brief little history of Battlecry Studios. It was founded in 2012 as a subsidiary of ZeniMax, which is the parent company of Bethesda Game Studios, so they were already in familiar territory together. In 2014, the studio announced Battlecry, which was a third-person MOBA-style live service game. I remember it being shown at E3 that year and thinking, this thing has zero chance in hell. It looked very rough around the edges. In late 2015, the studio had to lay off a good portion of their staff and development on Battlecry was stopped. In 2016, the studio assisted id Software with the post-launch multiplayer content on Doom. So, long story short, the former Battlecry Studios never actually launched a game themselves. They only assisted in other Bethesda Softworks family games. Alright, so what can we expect from the new Bethesda Game Studios Austin office? From their own description, they're supposedly equipped to handle AAA games. It doesn't appear that this is another studio designed to push out simple mobile games like Fallout Shelter. I know that's not all that Montreal did, but certainly since the studio head of that office did work on Fallout Shelter, that was a main focus for them. Mellencamp has experience developing and supporting live service games, and while his experience doesn't necessarily point us to what this studio will be doing, it gives us a general idea of what they're capable of. When Bethesda's Montreal office was announced, it was described as an office that would expand the studio's capabilities across console, PC, and mobile gaming. From all we know publicly, it has acted as a support studio for BGS's central projects. This is different than the wording for their Austin studio announcement, which specifically, again, mentioned AAA games. So, the short answer here is that we have zero clue what this studio will do and how it will contribute at this point. However, in theory, more people working on a project means it will run more efficiently. As long as the process is running properly, I know that's not always the case because more people can sometimes confuse things, but as long as it is running properly, this should cut down on development time or allow for additional content that we might not see otherwise. For example, if the Maryland office focuses on The Elder Scrolls 6, then hands the live service post-launch content over to the Austin office, then that gives the main office in Maryland more time to start working on the next project. Whatever their workflow will be together, it should cut down on time for sure. Do I think the Austin studio will take on projects of its own? Probably not, but it can certainly work in tandem with the Maryland office, just as Montreal has done so far. But again, something about that wording suggests more than just a support studio to me. Now, I know some of you may be worried because Battlecry Studios never successfully put out their own game and they laid off a lot of employees. But fortunately, Bethesda is hiring at this Austin location since it's now part of the BGS family. So they are looking for a gameplay engineer, infrastructure engineer, IT support specialist, producer, quest designer, senior console engineer, senior gameplay engineer, senior software engineer, systems designer, UI engineers, VFX artists, and general application 
people for this studio. So it sounds as if they are replacing those people that they had to lay off or they're cleaning house and hiring new so they can build this studio once again from the ground up. Other things to consider. Will we see the next Elder Scrolls and Fallout games more quickly because of the Austin office? I think once they have things up and running and they hire all these positions, yes, I think so. Are we going to see BGS's mysterious big two projects, including Starfield maybe, more quickly because of this office? I would think so too. To me, this should speed up these processes and perhaps lend an additional arm of expertise to BGS that we haven't seen before, specifically in the live service department. Creation Club is kind of sort of in the same realm, but it's more like DLC after the fact. It's not on the level of PUBG or Overwatch or Fortnite constant updates to an ongoing experience that expand and enhance it. Bethesda haven't put that kind of game out yet, and the current climate shows that it can be wildly successful if done right. I would put money on the fact that at least one of the two mysterious BGS projects will be live service. Perhaps that game will be Starfield, but at this point, who knows? All right, guys, that's it for today's video. In the comment section below, tell me what you think the Austin Studio means for Bethesda Game Studios. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more commentaries just like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.